earlier, Bangladesh government didn't have any particular approach towards, uh, you know, uh, for, uh, towards the internally displaced population. Uh, all its documents, if you think of National Adaptation Action Plan and then Bangladesh uh, Climate Change Action Plan Strategy, everywhere migration was treated from fear and then they thought that local level, you know, staying back at local level and not migrating is the ultimate answer. And all programs were targeted towards keeping them in the place of origin. But over the years, different studies have been commissioned and the findings of those studies showed that already around 4 million people have moved from their uh, place of origin. So it came up with a uh, strategy that calls uh, this management of disaster and climate change induced internal displaced population. And this particular document actually looks from a right perspective of those who are, those who may have to move and not seeing moving as a failure to adaptation. And right aspect provides that everyone has a right to stay back or right to move and based on that particular right, all the programs Im emanates. Like it has three uh, components. First is during uh, you know, at the prevention stage, then it has programs for the uh, during uh, displacement, and the third is during when display, post displacement programs. And everywhere it is the choice of migrants or choice of internally displaced population is given the highest sort of importance. This is a very important issue of, that is like when a person has lost his uh, homestead or arable land and will have to move. In that phase, all along, rights of the displaced have not been protected. So therefore, in this new policy that government has undertaken, that identifies that to make it right-based, it has to you know, in the relocation uh, thing has to be based on three types of interventions. First is like those who want to return, those who want to stay back in the area of destination and their reintegration and the third is uh, those who cannot stay in the place of destination or in the origin, therefore resettlement is required. And in all these stages, right or the choice of the migrant when you can support that will be the ideal way of protecting uh, the uh, displaced population but till now i don't think that type of approach is implemented till now resettlement sites we have but these are very much into places where people you know it's not connected with the mainstream areas or labor market therefore people don't go and stay there and then resettlement houses and places that government has prepared land has been distributed what has happened over the years those have been taken over by the influential migrants have sold them and then went into wherever job is available so uh, that is a major problem area protection of rights during uh, you know the relocation phase and reintegrating them in the in their in the displaced uh, in the origin destination area is also problematic because of this whole fear of others the temperament or the mindset is that they are going to create cr a crime or they are going to take up jobs of those who have been permanent settlers so these psyches are there and these require a lot of intervention by government as well as civil society organizations, NGOs, to make people out of that, take people out of such psyche.